Johnson Avenue, uh, a dream that has come true. Wanted to generate good businesses, good jobs, and a community of choice. A community where people would come together and enjoy themselves, but a community where it would make a difference. This is what Ogans Avenue looked like 33 years ago. Look at Ogans Avenue today. It's because of people like Marion Tasco and others who have come made, make a difference. The partnership between the councilwoman and myself and the Ogans Avenue Corporation has all made a difference to move Ogans Avenue forward into the 21st century. But it takes a lot of work. And the work of the small businesses like Paul Bill Flores, uh, Martin's Cleaners, all of them have been very important to the lifeblood of this avenue. And I'm proud to say that it's because people have been working together is why we have this neighborhood today. So I especially want to say to the Chamber of Commerce that I thank you for joining Councilwoman Marion Tasco today on this tour to just see what can happen in one neighborhood. We're basically trying to keep a neighborhood alive, a neighborhood where people care about what is taking place. And as you can see from where we started 33 years ago, we have now moved a community that we're ready to compete in the 21st century with all kinds of stores and all kinds of activities. Just last week, the food trust, we had the night market here where we had 12,000 people come to Ogons Avenue with all kinds of food trucks. For many years, we had the jazz festival right here at Ogons Avenue, which was free, which was, was the largest event on the East Coast that was free with all kinds of activities. Chaka Khan, Tina Marie, Roy Ayers, all of them making a difference in his neighborhood. And we, we're here at one of my favorite restaurants, Relish, which is a great place to come eat and come enjoy yourselves. So again, it's people working together that makes a difference. And I want to thank Councilwoman Marion Tasco for leading this effort.